Welcome back to Urine Hangovers Match Day Vlogs. It is 2024, and for our first game of the uh, of the new calendar year, it is our final game in Division Two up against Archon. Now, if we don't win this game, we are risking relegation. So it's a strong team out today on what is a very blustery January afternoon, looking to get the win. So for our first game of the new calendar year 2024, we also have a brand new kit which uh, I'm going to be giving to uh, to Charlie for his initial thoughts to open up the new kit. I'm Charlie, opting. please do the honours and uh, show the people our, our, our beautiful new kit. Brand new kit. Yeah, obviously my first kit, so I'm looking forward to it. Yep. Going to be wearing it everywhere. Some special clubs. ones. It's going to be framed after, after this year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. Amazing design, obviously all voted on by the players. Yep. Got yep. a brilliant sponsor there on the front. Have to thank Rescue Rooms, brilliant sponsor and sponsoring the vlogs. Name this year. on the back. Oh, that's class. That is happy to sign for Hangovers FC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all kitted out in a brand new kit, which uh, which the boys all voted on uh, on a design and all uh, all repping out today with the with the brilliant uh, Rescue Rooms sponsorship on the front of the shirt. But yeah, it's uh, it's all all comes in time for what is uh, a very important game, a must win game if uh, the boys want to stay in Division Two. Uh, and not uh, not risk relegation, and we're up against Archon, who posed uh, posed a fair bit of a challenge, but I think one that uh, that the boys managed to rise to uh, quite nicely. Actually, uh, early parts of the game, we uh, were kind of uh, just kind of trying to trying to get into the game, but they were they they were, they were quite weak in the, in their duels. I'd say I'd say uh, the midfield players and the attack did very well to uh, always keep nicking the ball here. Um, Alex does does very well nicks the ball and starts an attack, which ends in David's shot. Uh, unfortunately, a little bit too close to the keeper, and he uh, manages to parry it away. Uh, but a pretty quick start, actually, uh, and that was that was mainly the theme of this game. Lots of uh, lots of tackles won in the midfield and in the uh, in, in the final third meant we could really catalyze and keep the keep the pressure on. Uh, so yeah, we've got got to really give it up for the uh, for the, the kind of effort here. Sam and uh, and Alex applying some really good pressure on the right hand side, uh, and that just continued throughout the game. Uh, they really struggled with that, uh, with that kind of uh, strength and determination from the forward line and the midfield uh, and the midfield pairing, uh, as we kind of, uh, you know, really, <clears throat> really kept them at bay. Um, when they were trying to build up, we didn't uh, didn't give them too many uh, chances, uh, but when we did, uh, we managed to, uh, well, we could rely quite uh, quite nicely on our on our keeper Miles, who put in a, a stellar performance today, also in a brand new. Uh, well, a brand new goalkeeper kit. The first, uh, I think, the first ever goalkeeper kit produced uh, for the Hangovers. Uh, you'll see it coming up in a, in some of the clips shortly. Um, yeah, I mean, in this period of the game, uh, Arcon are managing to sort of hold onto the ball a little bit more. Uh, but we managed to nick the ball back uh, through some more uh, brilliant play from Sam Hill at the back, who's been imperious at centre back in these past uh, past few weeks. It does have to be said. Uh, we win a corner, and the corner gets lofted to the back post. Uh, I think David wants to go for a volley, and uh, then it comes out, pops out for a half volley to Kit, and he smashes that one against the bar, unfortunately. Uh, but as you can see, the the, the pressure is uh, is starting to to really build, uh, really putting the opposition on the back foot, uh, and really probably should have, should be should be one or two nil up at this point. Uh, but the boys continued going. Uh, Sam and Alex combining very nicely um, in this kind of uh, right channel and uh, and, and right hand side. Um, again, Alex puts a puts a decent ball in there uh, that can be uh, be cleared by the defender. Uh, here, he takes a very quick corner, and the keeper just cannot deal with it and actually pushes it straight into his own net. And the deadlock is broken by Alex Beaver from the corner. Um, now, it can be a theme that can, can be a very uh, very profitable route to goal. Uh, corners are a little bit difficult to kind of loft in and, and win headers, so if you can be a bit creative, uh, they really can pay off. So the hangovers are one 0 up um, and managing to uh, to you know uh, take the advantage and looking to press ahead with even more. Uh, a bit of a stray pass there means that means the attack is sort of uh, cut short a little bit earlier than we would have liked. Um, at this point in the in the game, David, who usually plays a little bit deeper, uh, has, has deployed himself up front um, and and supported by a kind of a very physical uh, midfield line. He was able to. Uh, you know, really be supported and, and not isolated up front during this game. Uh, some really good pressure here from Sam and Alex again combining. Uh, David joins in on the press as well. Um, nearly leads to us winning the ball and, and getting a shot off. Uh, but really good spells of, of, of pressure here. Uh, their player manages to, to have, a, to have a, a very good driving run actually uh, and escape the press. 
Uh, and this is one of the few times we're slightly on the back foot. Goes for a solo effort at goal. And as you can see, Miles does, uh, Miles does as you would expect him to do, pushes it over uh, and ensures that uh, that, that, that shot is... Um, is cleared and any danger is uh, is kind of averted really. Um, so more, you know, brilliant, uh, brilliant uh, tackling away from uh, from Alex and Sam. Uh, Alex managed to chip it through to Sam, who has a shot on goal. Did have David free on his left hand side if he just got his head up, and unfortunately his shot goes uh, just past the near post. Uh, but a profitable chance that could have led to uh, doubling our advantage in this first half of the game. Um, Archon did try to hit back at, at, at certain stages. Uh, this is this is probably going to make the bloopers real for the. Oh, oh Sam, get on it! Oh, <laughs> that's abuse. <laughs> Red card. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it's not quite my finest moment. Um, I could because I weigh as much as a feather. Uh, unfortunately, I was uh, just kind of bundled over. Uh, well, maybe maybe bundled is even even generous. Uh, but you know, we get back up. That's the hang of a spirit. Uh, you take what you can to the uh, to to your body. Put it all on the line. Um, one of these shots uh, that actually got through is the same player who uh, caused us a few few troubles. Has another shot uh, this time handled very nicely by uh, by Miles in net. Uh, manages to release us off for uh, another attack and get us going again. Um, but yeah, a really good performance from Miles. You'll hear a bit from him at the end of the game um, in in the new goalkeeper kit. Probably giving him a bit of a new lease of life. Uh, and I think really enjoy himself in this performance today. Uh, got a little bit scrappy uh, in this part, in, in kind of the end of the first half. We knew we were the better, we, we knew we were the better, the better team. Uh, but unfortunately, probably giving away a few too many chances and playing with a playing with fire at times. Um, another another cross comes in here. I managed to uh, sneak round. The, the attacker actually got goal side of me, but I I guess I guess I was probably a little bit lucky in how I. Uh, manages to manage to clear the ball, but managed to stop that from being an equaliser, uh, and eventually we managed to get it up the pitch uh, with David. But that does come to nothing. Uh, still one nil at this point. It, it is a bit of a dangerous scoreline one nil because you never know what can happen um, at this scoreline. And we we did feel we we were better than uh, than the scoreline suggested. But as you as you can see there, David nicks the ball off their defender. They're just sleeping at that moment in time and. Julie punishes the, punishes them. Uh, brilliant challenge there. Wins the ball cleanly. Uh, send well goes round the keeper very easily and finishes on his weaker left foot into an empty net. Uh, and that is exactly what we needed because we knew we needed that little cushion. Uh, and now the boys are feeling even more comfortable. Another uh, intervention here in the forward line from Kit this time manages to nick the ball uh, and in a, in a basically similar goal uh, also finishes this time on his uh, right foot uh, as he kind of goes slightly past the keeper. Uh, and puts it into an empty net and just like that the scoreline went from one to two to three very quickly and our uh, our dominance throughout the game finally was reflected in the scoreline uh, at this point Arcon were uh, you know a, a little bit uh, well I guess they not not given up but you know we we, we, we had pretty beat we, we'd beaten them fairly well by this point uh, another chance to maybe make it four uh, from David hits the post that's two woodwork hits uh, throughout this game uh, I think into the closing stage of this match at the moment. Uh, ball comes over to the left-hand side. Um, I actually managed to do some, well, I guess a weird skill move. Don't have the power to, uh, unfortunately, uh, push it all the way through. Do get megged and then, uh, unfortunately, can't get back and, um, you know, uh, s s has managed to slide on the 3G pitch again, uh, probably causing another scab. But, uh, you know, I tried. I tried, yeah. You, you, you've got to do what you can. Um, but the effort on the pitch from everybody in this game was... Uh, was very impressive. Uh, sort of reverse shot there, um, nearly sends Miles. Well, in, actually, nearly wrong foots Miles, but manages to readjust himself nicely. Pav, how do you feel about how do you feel about that? How do you feel about that performance, Pav? Uh, it's okay. Not great here, Pav. Okay. We're here, Pavan. Uh, great win today, Pavan. What's your thoughts? Brilliant win. Uh, we didn't think the opponents would turn up. They turned a bit late. They obviously weren't ready for us because team went out. Nicked the ball off them a few times. Oh, they didn't want it at the back. Uh, clinical on the break. Uh, everyone got involved. Uh, some nice passes and a, a good first start to the new year, I think. And uh, we're, st we're safely in Division 2 now. Do we? Do you think in, when we get uh, kind of re, uh, readjusted, we can make a push for Division 1 next time? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, as long as everyone performs, which I think everyone will, should be good. Oh, good. Modest as ever. Thank you very much.